Next week on Saturday nitakuwa hapa mapema saa 12 kamili asubuhi. Jumamosi hii inayokuja itakuwa ni siku kubwa sana ambayo Bwana ametupa. Bwana ametufunulia na kuahidi kwamba mwenyewe ataponya magonjwa sugu na yale yasiyoponyeka hapa kanisani mwetu Gospel Embassy Chapel kuanzia saa mbili asubuhi. Magonjwa haya ni kama vile ukimwi, saratani, kisukari au diabetes, pressure, vidonda vya tumbo au ulcers, asima na arthritis na magonjwa mengine yanayotishia maisha yako. Biblia inasema hivi katika Luka 4 mstari wa 40 na soma kama ilivyoandikwa. Jua lilipokuwa likichua wote waliokuwa na wagonjwa wenye maradhi mbalimbali waliwaleta kwa Yesu. Akamgusa kila mgonjwa, akawaponya wote. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa Mungu aniambia next week kila mtu ambaye yuko chini ya anointing hii na ambaye anaamini hata kama hayuko hapa leo lakini anaamini kwa nguvu na mamlaka ya Mungu wetu na is suffering from diabetes Bwana anasema he will clear it for you next week in Jesus name Nasikia sauti ya Mungu inasema pia kutakuwa na breakthrough there will be breakthrough in Jesus name Pressure will be terminated. Ninyi Mungu anataka mfanye kazi fulani ya kuleta watu wanaotaka mkono wake. Watu lazima wabereku. Na wakati mwingine lazima tuamini kwa niaba yao. We are not creating one to heal. No. But God in his own grace he will heal a person of HIV AIDS. Not one, not two, not three wataponywa wengi na hizo maukimi kwa jina la Yesu paralysis kuna hata ile ugonjwa ya kupooza where some unakuta mtu anakuwa paralyzed maybe one side i am reading them as they were given to me god will heal those paralytic people in jesus name bwana yesu asifiwe Cancer will be a thing of the past if you believe shout yes Kama yuko mtu kwenu Kama yuko mtu kwenu hiyo kanza inamsumbua it will be terminated in Jesus name Na mengine yatakuwa terminated kwa imani yako sio kwa imani yangu wewe ambaye unamleta vile unamfikisha hapa Yesu ataona imani yako na ataondoa hiyo uchafu kwa jina lake. Asma, nasikia bwana anasema asma acute ulcers. Watu wataponya. Kuna watu wengine wana comfort kama wanajua hali ya maisha ni ngumu. Wana chia ulcers ni lazima, chia ulcers ni lazima. Gendo ngeli okere lazima gia shetani. Everything of the devil is not a must in your body. It's not a must. Hakuna chochote cha shetani ambacho ni lazima ndani yako. Hakuna. Hello? Anybody suffering from ulcers? Anybody suffering from asthma? Anybody suffering from you can't see properly and you are trusting God? We shall terminate everything in Jesus name. Ah uh-uh. ah. We will terminate it in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Na nyingine tutarudishia wajawi wenyewe. Bwana asifiwe. Basi waleta wagonjwa wote kanisani mwetu Gospel Embassy Chapel Jumamosi hii ya tarehe 4 mwezi wa 3 na Bwana atawaponya wote.